แขกรับเชิญคนต่อไปที่เราจะมาพูดคุยนะครับเธอคนนี้เนี่ยเรียกได้ว่าเป็นอัจฉริยะเลยก็ว่าได้เพราะว่าเธอคนนี้เข้ามาหาวิทยาลัยตอนอายุ13เท่านั้นและจบจาก SIT ของพวกเราตอนอายุ17 wow. ตอน17ผมยังเรียนมัธยมอยู่เลยอะ่ะเพราะฉะนั้นเดี๋ยวเราไปพูดคุยกับเขาครับ Please welcome Ink Hello my name is Pasara my nickname is Ink uh, I studied at SIT when I was 13 years old to 17 years old in computer engineering mm-hmm. and now I'm studying my master's degree um, at the University of Edinburgh in computer science Could you please tell me more about your background story So for my education I studied um, elementary school and middle school at r o m e r d y International School and um, I left RIS uh, at the age of 12. I got into university when I was 13, and at first I went to um, KMITL first before coming to SIT. And at the age of 14, I enrolled into SIT um, wow. computer, de- um, computer engineering program. And um, after that, I have graduated at 17 and continued to pursue my master's degree. Um, in Edinburgh, yes. Yeah. From your story that you tell me, uh, I know that you are a fast learner. What makes you a fast learner? Um, I wouldn't say I'm like a fast learner, as in like I learn faster than other people. But it was because since from a very young age, my parents or my mom specifically would make me study material that was. Maybe a few years ahead of my time or ahead of my grade, and that was how I was able to um, skip many grades in the first place. And I have heard that you graduated 17. Uh, how do you feel about it? Um, I feel uh, happy about it. No, I think no different than anyone who who's graduating at any age. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you think that is no different, but uh, I think that it will have some problem like your friends. How about your friends? Um, my friends, I I get along with my friends fine. I think at first, maybe when I was 13 or something like that, um, it was a big change for me, and I had to adapt a lot to um the environment because of course everyone was like five years older than me but then i think uh, after as time passes by um it's uh it's really normal and they're like my normal friends and i think all my friends are older than me now but there's um i don't really feel much of a difference <laughs> from my experience i have studied for four years uh, and it's quite tough Uh, but you finish it in three years. How do you did it? Hmm? So, in my experience, um, so for SIT, um, the first three years, three and a half years, would be um, a lot of coursework where you enroll in a lot of courses each semester. And I think on the last year, or specifically the last semester of the fourth year, you would have like your big final project that you w- you'd work on only for the entire semester. So in my case, um, each semester I would. Enroll in you know, maximum credit every semester, and then on my um, last year, which was supposed to be my fourth year, but I changed it to third year, so I just enrolled a lot of courses, and because of that, I was able to finish earlier. Wow! Do you have any secret that made you success in education? Um, I wouldn't say it's a secret, but it's more like um, just. Uh, be dedicated to what you're doing and what you're studying and in terms of studying in general I just try to set a goal um, short-term goals and long-term goals uh, short-term as in what do I want to get accomplished in the near future and I list down the steps on how to approach that goal and the same thing goes with the long-term goals um, maybe that will be in a few years time and I list out what I have to get done in order to um, achieve that objective, and that is how I approach all of my studying. Wow. You, told, uh, you told me about your goal. What is your goal right now? My goal right now, in the short term, would be to um, finish my master's degree, and for the long term, I would like to pursue a PhD and eventually um, 
become an instructor and a researcher in an academic facility or institute. If you have a chance to be an instructor, <laughs> do you come back to our SIAT? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, it's, po it's a possibility. <laughs> I heard that you are president of Innovation Club. Can you tell me more about this? So I think for around maybe two years, I was the president mm -hmm. of the Innovation Club. And this club is basically, um, we do, we create little innovations or we um, perform or engage in activities related to um, more of like computer science. Whoa. So in this club that we have like activities related to robotics, to microcontrollers, to machine learning. And sometimes we would host different workshops to teach students from different majors, um, some fundamental concepts about robotics or microcontrollers. And we have hands-on um, activities as well as projects. Do you have any an example of innovation that you created? Um, I'm not sure if it's an innovation, but uh, <laughs> we worked on like dancing robots. Uh, so mm. we programmed um, some robots to dance to music and things like that. And uh, there was also the line tracing robots and things like that. Dancing like... Oh yes, it's very, very small one. <laughs> like, very small. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for coming for today. We got uh, uh, many information that inspire a lot. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Yeah.